hello! Welcome to another episode of Caitlyn Plays with Special Effects Makeup for no reason. Special Effects Shebangarang! Special Effects Fun Time! AKA Liquid Latex Everywhere! So today I don't have a specific character that I will be recreating on my face. I am going to just try my hand at making some special effects injuries. For someone that pretty easily becomes queasy at the sight of blood, mine or someone else's, it is a little surprising that I don't really get queasy by special effects blood. I guess because I know it's fake. <laughs> I mean, in movies, it still gets me in the moment of it. But watching other people's videos, seeing them create like crazy fake injuries or cuts or burns or whatever, I just think it's really cool. I had a little tease with it when I put the scrapes on my face for my Laura Croft cosplay. Basically took some fake blood and just kind of smeared it on my face with stipple sponges so it looked like I had bloody scrapes on my face. That was definitely my favorite part of that whole makeup look. I just like fake blood for some reason. So today I'm just gonna try out a few different things. I'm gonna give myself a black eye because I've never had one and I want to see what it looks like. But if you know anything about how things generally go with these makeup experiments, it will hardly look like a black eye. I'm really interested to see what I accidentally create instead of a black eye. <laughs> and then I'm going to try to make a few fake cuts and not little scrapes like I did last time. I actually want to try and use liquid latex to make the like cut shape on my face and then put the blood and paint in it and stuff to make it look realistic. Again, why am I doing this? Just, just cause I just wanna see what it looks like and I wanna see what I can do. So I think the first thing I will do is the black eye because that will just be paint. And now I do have makeup on my face and I'm only going to wipe the makeup off the areas that I'm putting makeup on. Well, the special effects makeup on. Whatever option has the least amount of effort is preferred. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna do it on this eye just cause it's closer to the camera. And honestly, <laughs> I have such bad dark circles that I can just wipe my makeup off and say, done! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> okay, my main game plan for this is basically to just make a layer of purple and then go over it with black and I'm just gonna put a lot of colors on my eye and see what happens. I also feel like there's really no point in me looking up pictures of a black eye because all black eyes look different. If I keep saying that, it's gonna start sounding like I'm saying something else. Or <laughs> maybe I should enunciate a little better. Black eye. Oh, this is like a pink purple. Yay, I'm getting confidence already. Maybe because this doesn't necessarily have to be like a perfect form. It's a little more in my skill range. Yeah, it goes all the way around because your eyes get all swollen. Okay, there's some purple. Now I guess I'm just gonna kind of randomly work in some black to darken it up. The thing with the black grease paint is it really looks more like just straight up grease. <laughs> Honestly, this looks kind of gross because it's really shiny. I don't know if black eyes are shiny. They call them shiners. So maybe it works. I don't know. Why are they called shiners? I feel like I need something else. Maybe I should look up what a black eye looks like. Okay, so what I'm gathering is I've already made this uh, quite a bit too big. I actually think I need to mix some red in here and I need to make it darker. Uh, I feel like I just look like I have, I'm doing a stupid spotted dog makeup look. It's too big and round. <laughs> okay, and I think I'm gonna put some black on top of that again. Yeah, this is falling apart real fast. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't I don't know what else to do this. It's like I don't want the black sitting on top though cuz it just looks like I'm dirty. Should I mix a little blue in too maybe? I don't know. 
I think I'm gonna stop here. It's just getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> And it looks just bizarre. Okay, well, didn't really go as planned, but I didn't have a solid plan to begin with, so there's my black eye. My black eye. If I do this, does that make it look more realistic? It's not puffy either though. I feel like that would help if I made it puffy. Oh well, black eye's done. Okay, now I'm going to make some cuts on my face. So what I was thinking is doing a little one on my chin and a bigger one over here. And the way I'm going to do it is with liquid latex. I've seen a good way to use liquid latex and to get it to like make thicker, I don't know, pieces or what you're wanting to do. Mixing it with cotton helps. You like build on top of it. I don't have cotton balls, but I have a bunch of these little uh, cotton round things, the little circles. When you tear it open, it's loose cotton. So I'm gonna try to pull out of that. Okay, I think first I'm just gonna pull a bunch of this apart so I can just have it sitting here. So I have all this cotton that I can use because it doesn't take a ton. Besides the Dobby makeup where I was just using it to cover up like seals like between the nose prosthetic and the bald cap, I haven't done anything else with this stuff. So this is truly a whole new experience for me. For anyone that's wondering if you have never smelled ammonia, it smells like a fart. I thought it was gonna smell like alcoholic chemically. No, it smells like butt. First, start off by dropping your entire spatula in the latex. Okay, well, I have this little tray here. Man, this stuff smells bad. <laughs> I don't remember it smelling this bad in my other video. So let's start with the smaller cut first. I'm just going to make the general shape first. Okay, now I need to put teeny bits of cotton on the sides. And let that dry. So if you're wondering why I'm putting cotton on top of the um, latex is to make the illusion of uh, my skin. Because when you get cut, it's like the skin opens up. So I need the edges to be a little bit thicker than my actual skin so I can make it look like there's some depth, you know? That's what I'm trying to say. It adds depth and that, yeah, that adds depth. Okay, so it's mostly dry, so I'm gonna put some more on top of the cotton. I mean, I think it mostly worked. Maybe I'll let that dry and put a little more on top. I'm feeling like the inside part that's supposed to be the opening may not be big enough, but I think once I put the paint in there, it will look better. Okay, I think I'm gonna add just a teeny bit more. Start the other side. So this side it is going to be a big one. Oh, I just dropped my stick in the whole thing again. Dang it. So this one's a little, definitely thicker. Well, now that this stick is in there, time to use my last one. Okay, I think we're just gonna start getting painting. Uh, they feel pretty much dry, but I've been sitting here for a while, so it's time to start painting. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this beigey tan paint I have that's the closest to my skin tone to paint over them so it looks like my skin. And then I'm gonna paint the inside with dark colors and red and make them bloody and bleh. One thing I'm noticing on this one especially is, I don't know if you can tell, but this one is very thick and like jaggedy, not like smooth. So these are gonna look more like really irritated cuts, I guess. 
It just looks like there's something stuck to my skin. <laughs> oh, I know what I didn't do. So after you go in with the cotton and stuff, you're supposed to try to spread out the latex so it looks smoother and blends into your skin. <laughs> uh, I think it's a little late for that. Learning experiences, that's why we do this. Just like you have to blend your foundation lines, you need to blend your latex or else you're gonna look like this. Okay, well, they are flesh colored. All right, now we're gonna go in and make them look all gross and irritated. Okay, so what I'm doing for this step, I'm taking the makeup sponge and my red grease paint and just getting the edge of it so I can control it and just lightly sponge in this raised part to make it look like the skin is irritated. And if it goes over the edge, actually I'm doing that intentionally a little bit too. I don't know if that's gonna blend it more. I really messed this up already. Again, who's surprised? Not me. Irritated skin, does that look like I'm irritated? That's a little too- Oh, uh, what? Where did that come from? What's happening? That's supposed to be there. I'm sitting on a little wooden chair and I really want to put my leg under me to sit more comfortably, but then I'll be out of shot. So I'm just like, I don't know what to do with my legs. Okay, so I think that's the best I'm gonna get with those. It looks kind of cool, right? Maybe like a, a cheap version of a face wound. <laughs> it definitely looks like something's wrong with my face. To get a more saturated red, using a Q-tip, and I'm gonna put the inside of the cut. Yeah, this one didn't turn out as great. The latex kind of all just made flat, so there's not really a the gap in the middle. Yeah, this is just like a strip of latex. I think at this point, the only thing that's gonna save this one is the fake blood. I have some hope for this one though. Honestly, what I'm painting inside really isn't that big of a deal because the fake blood just looks so real. So why am I painting it? Mm -hmm. It's all about the depth and every little detail. Now I guess I'll just put in the fake blood and call it that. <laughs> I just feel like these look so bad, but I don't know what else to do to them. Ugh. Okay, all right, fake blood time. Just put blood all over my face. Not gonna lie, I've actually considered doing that. <laughs> I know you're all thinking, what the heck is wrong with you? A lot of things, uh, we're not gonna get into it. I mean, I enjoy creating fake cuts on my face <laughs> just for fun. That doesn't say something about me. I don't know what does. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use a Q-tip again and get some fake blood on it and go to town. <laughs> okay, it's, maybe it's not helping that much. Maybe there's only so much you can do when the prosthetic job you've done is just awful. I'm disappointed. It looks like there's blood in the middle, but the outside is like, what is that? Did you stick bubble gum to your face? Pretty much. That's, I might as well have. I don't know what else to do. This one looks so stupid. This one kind of looks good. I don't know. Ugh. Okay, so the last thing I was gonna do is just give myself a bloody nose, cause that's the easiest thing that will look the most real out of all of this. See, that looks real, but these don't. Does that make it look any better if it's dripping? What gave me this black eye and these gouges and this bloody nose? Maybe uh, I uh, got in a fight with a, a bear and he got me real good, but I came out on top. I was in a gang fight and uh, they, they had knives and um, I lost. Uh, maybe I got in a, a bar fight and I finally just drank too much and took things too far and I got, I got beat up. 
I didn't plan anything. Uh, I don't, I didn't think of a good backstory. I just wanted to see what I would look like with some crazy injuries. Clearly I have a long ways to go with my special effects, makeup abilities, but I am having a heck of a lot of fun and you can expect more stupidity to come out of this face. Uh, this video was completely random and pointless and I don't even know how entertaining it was. So thanks for watching if you made it this far. Hope you enjoyed part of it. Maybe I grossed you out a little. I would take that as a success. I would take that as a success. Uh, because I think this looks stupid. <laughs> and if you're grossed out, then that means it's slightly realistic. This is just the dumbest. I do have a few other things I want to try with the latex, like some other techniques I've seen people use before, such as using latex and coffee ground. No, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to um, say stay tuned because I'm going to be doing more experiments. If you guys have any ideas for characters or weird effects or something that you think I should try, let me know because I will truly do anything. Not just for your amusement, but for mine too, because I have a lot of fun doing these. Also, if you have a good backstory for how this happened to me, uh, leave that in the comments or tweet at me or something. Clearly, I am not on my... Uh, clearly, my brain is just not working tonight, so I can't think of witty backstory. How did this, how did, had, how did it? But you can follow me on all social media at it's underscore just Caitlin or on Facebook is it's just Caitlin. Stay tuned and um, watch out for what's coming. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, now this one it clearly wants to come off. It's halfway. Oh, peach fuzz is getting pulled. Oh, it's got a nice little peach fuzz wax there. Uh, this one's gonna hurt like frick.